the government VA should find a different third party because of the health nets prove they can't handle it. Untrained staff scheduling the wrong appointments and hours spent on the phone trying to sort things out. This is what one Fargo doctor's office says they have to go through to see veterans needing care. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Mike has the evening off. Congress passed a bill in 2014 trying to streamline access to care, but since it was put into place, it's been nothing but problems. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric has been investigating why it's become so hard for some local doctors to care for those who have fought for our freedom. They've actually scheduled a patient for orthopedic care at a veterinarian's office before. Vanessa Heil is the practice manager at the South Fargo Medical Office, and she says most days at least one staff member has to be diverted to simply sit on the phone. On Friday, it took the receptionist um, four and a half hours just working on a couple of patients, trying to get their appointments scheduled, get their surgeries in order. And Heil keeps ticking off the horror stories. She tells me how one veteran had to sit on the phone with HealthNet for eight hours before getting the correct information. She sent me this email outlining how a male patient had been scheduled at a gynecologist's office mistakenly, how it takes weeks and months before the veteran can actually get in for an appointment, and that her office is still awaiting payment from claims submitted in November of last year. And we're one of the few that sees veterans in the area anymore because all the other physicians have pretty much said, no, we're not dealing with HealthNet anymore. So what is HealthNet? It was contracted with the VA in 2014 to provide access to services outside VA hospitals. For example, the Fargo VA does not have an orthopedic surgeon, so that's where Heil's office comes in. I looked them up online and immediately found nearly 200 complaints. A person from Pennsylvania says on February 12th, they were waiting for over 36 days to see an allergy doctor, ending with, quote, that's a nice thanks for my service to my country. Another person from Michigan says, quote, hope VFW helps us as they suffer from pain and can get no answers through health net. It's not acceptable. It, it's not acceptable. It's not good enough, and I'm not going to stop until we get it fixed. It's a problem North Dakota Senator John Hoven is familiar with too. He says for over a year he's been working on legislation to fix the issues with HealthNet and his plan remove them altogether. And it gives the VA the ability to assign the veteran directly to that local health care. HealthNet says it supports plans by the VA to help fix some of the issues plaguing the system saying quote this will help us eliminate the current backlog of provider claims. But in the meantime, it's still a daily battle for Vanessa Heil and her staff. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. We have posted the full statement from HealthNet online. Just go to our website and click on this story. North Dakota Senator Heidi Heitkamp also expressed strong support for amending the Veterans Choice Program, helping introduce the legislative proposal to change it. Her aim, however, is to make access better for veterans living in rural areas, saying it would be better for them to just deal directly with the VA facility in Fargo.